Good afternoon. Welcome back. Episode six, Franchise Hockey Manager. Uh, hopefully my voice doesn't sound too terrible in this one. I'm suffering quite horribly from a bit of a, a chesty cough and the uh, the voice is a little bit croaky, but we're going to run through it, got to hammer these episodes out. Uh, In-game, it has been just under a month since the last episode. Um, there's been a little bit of, of news, uh, key one being that we have signed Bobby Young for a contract extension. It's about five grand more than he was on last year, but it does keep him for another year. Uh, Stat-wise, he's been doing all right. 44 points out of 48 games. So, yeah, I wanted to sign him for another year. He is still quite young, so he isn't somebody that uh, we potentially need to move on just yet. Top center jerseys, pretty much the same as usual. Bonner, Towner, McLaughlin, Silverthorne, Salem. Development-wise, we are still getting the drop-offs. Salem and Silverthorne have both dropped points again. In the top selling jerseys, Bonner is there. Uh, ignore that little bit of red text. We'll come up to that in a minute. Um, but I did have a first job offer. The Ottawa 67s offered me a job. Now, that's the OHL. And pay-wise, it's about $9,500, which is about eleven grand, I think. Exchange rates are terrible. I'll tell you what, let me Google it and find out exactly what the exchange rate was. So, yeah, I was, uh, I was doing that exchange rate backwards um yeah you always get more american money to uk pounds um, it actually worked out to be about seven thousand one hundred pounds a year so i uh, politely turned that job down back onto the news back on not that screen uh back onto this one so i've got to the owner confidence and tucker thinks the season is successful so far team has played well we are a serious contender we should be looking for players to help us right now that's been our struggle the entire year Looking further out, we should be a contender next year. The fans are very pleased. Things could be better, but we're not at a stage where we need to look at replacing you just yet. Uh, what we also did as well is we eventually moved Danskin off the uh, off the off the roster. We put him on the injury list. His um, his stats and the games that he was playing. Uh, we need to go game by game. Um, where were they? I mean, they weren't. I mean, they weren't brilliant. Honestly, they weren't brilliant. Um, so decided that time we uh, we rested him and we have only recently, but we have rested him. So, yeah, Seahawks team claims, uh, sorry, Seahawks team sources have confirmed that Danskin has been playing with a torn abdominal muscle. The team's season over, not yet. He'll be seeking treatment and begin a recovery process that will take one to two months to recover. Um, but yeah, we sent him off now. See if he can get himself sorted. Uh, now our top selling Jersey person has now gone and jammed his finger. Um, so your day to day, but he's had to miss a couple of games against the Knights, who got a bit of quiet hostility going on in their locker room. And we did just beat them back to back. 5-2 in the first, 4-1 in the second. So, oh, and yeah, Oliver Stone has, has improved. But yeah, Oliver Stone, mm, yeah, whatever. So when we look at the... Standards, it's in the wrong screen, there. We are fourth with about six games to go. Uh, Vec is still holding up there, fourth place with the amount of goals. Leon's is still up there and there. And McLaughlin's up there with most wins, which is interesting. You think somebody that's got great goals against and great save percentage would potentially win a lot more games, but eh, apparently not. But um, yeah, we're on a two-game winning streak. So is Sheffield. Top three are on a losing streak. Solway are winning a couple now. Bristol are winning a couple. So we've got a couple of loose streaks either side of us. Um, but what I'm thinking of doing this episode is just sort of running through those remaining six games and seeing how we get on at the end of the season. Welcome back. This is uh, the first game, third period of the first game. Bit of a weird one. We are massively outshooting them, but not outscoring them. Uh, they're having a terrible game. We're having an all right game, right? It's not having a brilliant one. But we're back for the third, and we'll see how we get on. We get a nice, I'll say that as we uh, immediately turn it over. We can get a nice quick one, get a bit of a buffer. We can, you know, thank you. We can avoid them being on the attack constantly. That would also be useful. What I have noticed as well, and I don't know if this is just a weird bug in the, um, in the engine, but I have noticed a couple of times when you kind of get 
couple of people here, they play off like to a defender, and the defender just immediately passes it to an attacker and they score. I don't know if it's just a weird just a weird glitch or something. I don't know. Anyway, Matthews is on the attack, Smith and Butler in front. I wasn't sure if that went in, but it obviously didn't. Um, all right, we're on a power play. We've got just over 10 minutes to go. Now five on three, which is, which is nice. We can stop them, you know, from tippy-tapping it. Come on. That's it. All right, Van Cleef to Vec. Vec has it again, gives it up. Vec can get it back. Would be nice. Nope, Vec still has it on the attack now. Coming down the right. On his own, apparently. All right, so we've got two minutes 23. We're on a power play. We could do something with it. That would be lovely. I'm not entirely sure what we were doing on that one, but that is it. Again, massively outshot them. Just didn't really seem to be able to turn it around and get some goals. Anyway, move on to the next game. Or we would have done. Um, however, the media want to have a bit of a pop at uh, Bobby Young. So, although the team managed to defeat Bristol, the media were critical of the play of Bobby Young. How do you wish to respond? Now, when I looked at this, which is on the team home screen, I want to say. Yeah, they don't. The media don't like Bobby Young for some reason. And I'm fairly certain... That's the one that they decided to have a little bit of a chip at previously. So, uh, let's bring that back up. Let's go see how he got on in the last game anyway. So, game by game. That was his last game. 71. Defensive was 57. Not brilliant there. Great there, great there. Two assists. That was a good game. Um, yeah. Media treats him unfairly. Okay, game two, Swindon. Uh, now, Swindon, um, they're definitely the better team. Um, can we go? We can't. But yeah, they are, I think, second place behind Peterborough, who are 70-something points. And I think we're third at the moment. Uh, we'll see at the end of the game. I'm fairly certain right now we are third. Um, and this game should not be as close as it is. Um, it's another game where we're being massively outshot. Um, actually, saying that's the flip side. We are shot last time. They're outshooting it this time. Um, but it wasn't literally until about two minutes ago, you just go to the box score, you will see that we managed to tie it up. So, yeah, so they scored one 48 minutes, 48 seconds even, not 48 minutes, 48 seconds into the game, and it's taken us this long to finally get a goal back. We're going into the third. Uh, team's doing all right. Let's see how we get on. Ulrich has it down on the right. Let's see if he can do anything with it. He is on his own. And he can. Lovely. Okay, we'll take that all day. Right, so Larkin has let a lot of players get around him. Do we want to do anything with Larkin? Larkin's having a great game. Just carry on playing the way you're playing. Which year has gone past the halfway point. Time is massively just go. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Um, I really wasn't expecting that as a third. Um, but that does give us two more points. But it's six points behind Swindon. Um, and if we have a look at that standings again. Yes, yeah, so we are third. Six points behind and... Yeah, we're not we're not going to catch Peterborough up. There's just not enough games left. Uh, we have four more games. They have five more games. So it's two points for a win. Uh, so we can get a maximum. If we win every game, we can get eight more points. That has put us at 64. So with four more games, we can get eight more points. That would put us at 67, I want to say. So we are pretty, it's pretty unlikely that we are going to get second. Third, 
we might be able to hang him to get third. I mean, we're definitely not going to be we're definitely not going to be last. But uh, yeah, let's move on to the next game. So just having a quick check before our next game, which I don't honestly think we're going to win. It's against Peterborough, and uh, they are three games winning streak. Yeah, I mean, we're on the best tear at the moment. We've got four in a row. Um, they've got three in a row. They'll probably make it four, and then we'll go to a little dash. But um, yeah, I was having a bit of a nosy around, just checking the free agency centre, um, just having a look for decent English players. And I found this guy, Bailey Newton. Now, I don't know where he uh, where he suddenly come from. Um, it does look like he's previous team maybe just ditched him in fact we can probably find out by looking at his uh, bio i want to say yeah there it is so he has become a free agent having played with the yeah it must have been the it's got to be these people in fact he was playing there 20 days ago yeah so he was playing in the uh the u sports ice hockey league but for some reason despite the fact that he is decent he is three, and he has got English as a nationality, which is super useful for us. You know, he's born in Blackpool. You know, he, he won't sign with us. Let's see, we tried to offer him a contract. He's like, I'm not interested in further negotiations. I haven't even made initial negotiations, let alone further negotiations. Okay, um... Yeah, this is not where I expected to be at the uh, start of the third. And this game is, is oh God, it's really not been good for my old heart. Um, we are currently winning for free. And it's not always been that way. If we have a look at the box score. We got our first goal literally just on the six minute mark. We then got a second, 49 minutes into the second. They then got three in a row. Literally, that is about 40 seconds apart. Then about two minutes apart, they were winning. Then 3-2. At the 14-minute mark, we get another one. 3-3. Three, three. And then with a couple of minutes before the end of the second, we get the go-ahead goal. So it's now 3-4 to us against the team that is at the top of the league, the team that is on the winning streak, and the team that has a lot of red defensive game ratings. Don't look at ours. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can get a fifth. A nice... I have no idea what just happened there. But if we can get a nice, quick, easy one, like that, yep. And then shoot it forwards. In the, in the net would be nice. Like that. Exactly what I wanted to see. If we get one more up, we can let one go in if need be. Uh, all right. Ideally, oh, oh, hello, hang on. Can you get another one? Ah, okay, too much to ask. Oh, can we get another one in? That'd be lovely. But, um, yeah, ideally what I'd love to see is kind of repeat that last game where just nothing happened in the third. That'd be great. I don't think that's going to happen. I'm pretty certain people have got another one in them somewhere. But, um, yeah, if we can just get that back. we just got to run out the clock. All right, so your team looks intimidated by Ivan Bjorkley Nordstrom. Do you want to? He is having a good game. Let's, let's knock him around a bit. And ideally not give up the puck while we do so. That would be lovely. Sit. No, okay. That's fine. We're doing all right still. we still got that two-goal lead. We just try not to give it away. Oh, that makes me worried sometimes. Uh, that is theirs. So, okay, so now on a four and a four. We're giving it away again. That, that is exactly what I'm talking about. 
the goal, he literally passes it to one of their own players. They have a quick bop, 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 leads to a goal. I see that way too often. All right, so we need another one. Or we need to run out the clock, one of the two. Run out the clock is fine, we can do that. Um, yeah, we just won against the... Um, it's, yeah, it gets the top, top tier, top division team. Um, yeah, wow. Okay, so we just literally beat those two. Two, four, six. I mean, if they, if Swindon lose every single game, we could come second. Um, we don't have many games left. We've got those three remaining games. One of them is against Telford. Telford are down here. They're just trying to turn it around with a winning streak, but, wow, well, they are... I mean, to be fair, we've only won three more games than them. But, um, yeah, let's just keep on chugging. Let's get the season done. All right. Uh, yeah, this is another... I, don't know, I feel like I'm starting this all the time by saying that. It's another game that's a bit of an odd one. Um, we're out shooting them. Not like the last game, but we're out shooting them. And score-wise, oh. Oh, that, that, that score does not tell the entire picture. Um, we need to really have a look at the box score for that. Period number one, two and a half minutes in, we get a goal. Five minutes in, we get a goal. 14 minutes in, we get a goal. On to the second. Minute in, we get another. Five minutes in, we get another. Five nil up, five and a half minutes in. Then, boom, boom, boom. Three goals in quick succession. I didn't say quick succession, but within about seven minutes, two within two. Um, but yeah, we have now managed to kind of stop the rot a little bit by getting another one back. Um, it has massively tanked the ratings for our team. We had literally no reds at all. But we have a free goal lead, 20 minutes to go. Can we keep this streak going? Well, let's see, shall we? Now, I did notice as well, and I wonder if this will pop up, but there was a, a bit where, yeah, right, yeah, we know, we know, roughing, where the puck got right at the very back of the net, and my player skated over, it was the other end, but he skated over and he got stuck there, and then their player just went around and knocked it in. It was weird. Can we get another one? Ah, I thought we were going to get another one then. And that looks like it's heading off for an icing. It is indeed. 15 minutes to go. Fisher has it, who just decides to stop for some reason. All right, Bonner moves up to Salem. Salem passes it back. Can we go another one? Go on. Price, for some reason, was going backwards with that. Come on. Just keep it going. I can get a bit of a shifty on. That's it. Seven and a half minutes to go. And they are really trying to get another one, aren't they? All right. Let's move it forward. Matthew's on the line. Just having a shot anyway. That's it, Matthew. Nope. Okay. Stop them and get. Okay, uh, we have got just under five. They've got to get two. We're now just under three. Puck is with us. Van Cleef has it. Can he get another one? I honestly can't remember the last time I saw Van Cleef score. I may have to check that in a minute. If we can uh, get that back now, thank you. Get a quick empty net. Oh, I didn't even see that Goldie wander off then. But that'll do it. That'll do it. Puts it nice and easily away. And we extend our winning streak even further. Um, but yeah, I think we'll have a quick look. I do want to double check and see the last time Van Cleef scored. Uh, so we go game by game. 
Yeah, it's been a while. Ooh. Well, I think you're, um, you're probably going to know what I'm going to say at the beginning of this match. Um, I'm not quite sure what's going on here. I mean, first of all, Young's having a terrible game. The media will probably be all over him at the end of this. However, Solway. Now, I've been mocking them a lot. And, yeah, they um, decided to get a goal within the first three minutes. Uh, on the second period, that is. Nothing in the first, but yeah, literally. They got the first goal, and it took us like almost eight minutes to get another one back. Yeah, okay, we, um, we've managed to get three, but then they've got another one. So we're only one goal ahead of a team that are the bottom of the league. We're on a massive winning streak. We haven't what, lost in like five, six games now. And we are struggling against, against Solway. All right, anyway, let's just try to get this game done. After that, we have a game against Leeds, and that's the season over. We could still potentially come second. It's unlikely. I mean, um, Swindon have got to lose their next two games because they're on a bit of a losing streak right now. All right, we're glad to put up with this a uh, little bit for a minute. Just fortunately, just due to a massive sneezing fit. Hopefully, we don't score in this period a bit because we can't see anything. It's going back our way for some reason. There we go. Cool. Now we can see again. All right. So we got about 13 minutes left. We had a bit of a dance around the blue line. Off the post. Well, they are definitely trying to get one more back. And they are doing pretty well when it comes to shots as well. That... I was about to say that looked like there was a goal coming on that one. All right. Free free. I'm not particularly happy right now. They're on the attack again. Henderson sitting behind the goal. Are we going to do anything? Uh, we can do that. And by that, I mean we can give it away, apparently. And we can start losing. And, oh, God, we did. We actually lost against Solway. Oh boy, oh, do, I, do I just resign now? Uh, yeah, oh yeah, in other news, we, um, we, McLaughlin got another contract because, you know, he's a four and a half star, five star potential goalie. We ain't going to get much better than him. So yeah, signed him. I believe, I believe I got him on a bargain. Oh no, maybe not. For some reason, I think it was on 21. Yeah, he's got five grand more. That's fine. That's fine. All right, we got one more game against Leeds. We now have dropped down a place. Hang on. Hold 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 on. Oh, it's it's on goals four. They've got 11 goals more. Tied, tied, tied. Oh, that is going to be so painful if we lose out there. We can't get second, we can't get first. So it is literally just between us and Milton Keynes. Okay, and Leeds, who annoyingly have got something to play for, they beat us, they move up, they all swap places. Um, Sheffield Steel Dogs, yeah, if we have a massive route, then yeah, maybe. The lowest we can go is fifth. But I want to be third. Okay. Well, let's be back for Leeds. Oh, God. We could be fifth. Third period. It's a very close game. They've got one. We've got none. They got their first. Three and a half minutes into the first period. On a power play goal. And we are struggling to get back into it. Wilcox ain't having a good game. Ulrich's not having a brilliant game. Um... Yeah, and if this stays the way it is, we're going to end up fifth. And I'm not happy. Because we've had some good shots. Just we can't convert them. And that... That annoys me. Because um, the first goal... First goal, we had a loose puck. And it kind of stopped right about there. So McLaughlin came out. 
knocked it up. Another player from the other team picked it up and popped it back in. It's just, I don't know what the defence were doing. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. So we need two, we need two quickly. We're going to stay in this. So let's see what we can do. Salem could actually, yep, thank you. If we can get one in quite quickly, that would be nice. We are on the attack. Lark at a bonner. We can just do that. Lovely. So now we only need to get one more back. We can do that. We can. That looks like it should go for an ice in. Just let it go. Awesome. We can just get that. Quickly turn it around. We'll get another quick goal. I just don't, don't, don't let them waltz in. All right, Vec is letting a lot of opponents get around him. Uh, Vec is having an amazing game. Look at that, 90, 82, 91. You just keep playing. It's your teammates. There's a lot of just plain whites on here. All right, come on. Come on. We have a power play. So can we, can we get it the other end, please? It's our power play. Come on, Larkin. Come on. Two and a half minutes left. We need one more goal. Don't think it's coming. In fact, it feels like the opposite's coming right now. Like this. This usually... See? That usually leads to a goal. Okay. So that was a... That was a fun season. Oh, we did. Uh, Milton Keynes has still got one more game to play. Yeah, we're we're gonna we'll, we'll sim forward a day. Yeah, we're gonna end fifth, aren't we? All right, so there we have it. End of regular season, fifth place. I mean, the Steel Dogs are probably annoyed because they got the same points as us. We were literally two points away from third. That is such such a heartbreak because we were on such a streak. We just go into our schedule. We were just on such a tear. That's just these last two games. We just couldn't, just couldn't do it. Just couldn't do it. But that's fine. Um, I believe if we head to the history section, we have technically recorded our best ever finish for the Seahawks. Well, actually, then before the playoffs, we have had all of the award nominees. Um, so let's have a look and see if any of our players have been named. So yeah, look at that. Leon's of the Hull Seahawks is in there. As well as Jakob Jelinek, maybe at the Tigers and Greenfield of the Steel Dogs. Danskin. Hey, look at that. Uh, as well as, um, yeah, best GM. Come on, come on. I'm in there. Oh yes, I am in there. NIHL has announced this year's nominees. Best GM. Ignore that background noise. Three finalists, Doug Shepard of the Bees. Mm, if we have a quick look at where the Bees were and the Tigers. Should we just check Bees and the Tigers? Bees. Oh, oh, Bees are down there. Tigers are down. Oh, I'm above all of them. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that one should be me. Uh, but it will be announced during the awards ceremony. Best coach, oh, I'm there for best coach as well. Mortlock of the Bees and Watkins of the Tigers. All right then, to wrap up today's episode, this is the playoff standings. So, uh, first place, Peterborough. Uh, could be facing eighth place Bees. That should be a shield for Peterborough to move forward. Second place, Swindon against seventh place, Telford. More than likely Swindon, I reckon, on that one. Leeds versus Sheffield, again, Probably Leeds. And then us and Milton Keynes. Fourth and fifth place. I'm hoping it's going to be us. But we will find out. And we're going to do the playoffs in the next episode. Anyway, that will be it for now. And I'll see you guys later.